Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the video. Today we're playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 here, returning back to our park. This Today we're going to be finishing it up, and we're going to start off here with a small miniature consignathus enclosure. Like a mini exhibit for guests to see, but it's not like it has to be top security since it's a consignathus. So we're about to go in montage here, and we're going to just go ahead and do that. So now that we're done with that consignathus enclosure, let's go ahead and start incubating them. We'll go ahead and release these Critonosaurus. Since we didn't do that last episode, we're going to finish playing those dinosaurs out. And after we're done with these consignathuses, then we're going to be going down to the aquatic areas and finishing that up. Since we haven't even started on the lagoon, for that matter. Uh, decorating particularly around the viewing galleries, so that way then we don't have to do too much. Well, but at the same time, looking very nice around those galleries that we do see. Are we gonna do? Yeah, let's just do that. Don't want to be too bright, comps this. So yeah. So now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and just finish up adding some fibrous ground fiber around here. And yeah, we'll go ahead and have to release those comp synapses later. But let's go ahead and start working on the lagoon here. Let's go ahead and release those and then also have these other ones finish up incubating. So yeah, and then we'll get to the decoration part. 
make sure to have to have plenty of the smallest dinosaurs and then have a good bit of the moderate sized dinosaurs and then we're going to put like an apex predator in here and that'll be good i'm thinking either a mosasaurus or chrono two chronosauruses as much as i like the chronosauruses i kind of thinking i'm go we're going to do a mosasaurus so yeah and let's just decorate around here but, you know what, first we have to add those, uh, feeders. Not the regular piscivores, uh, but rather add those marine fish feeders all around. So that way then our creatures don't go starving. Ooh, it looks like, what, what's wrong with the, are we gonna do an, our shark feeder? Yeah, let's, we, well, let's put in two of these shark feeders here for that either Moza or Chronosaurus that we're going to put in. Let's decide what one... You no, know, let's do that one. I think that one comes with the Corsica map, so we're going to go with that one. It's a really simple-looking one, but very uh, bare-bones, but yeah, it still looks good. So, yeah. Chrono... I really like Chronosaurus. But I think the Mosasaurus is better for this map. Yeah, it's better for this map. So, let's see what. Let's just do a random one and hope it comes out good because I don't really know what are the best Mosasaurus skins because I'm not a big fan of Mosasaurus. I mean, it's really cool and all, but. Just. It's super popular. Kind of just as like. It doesn't have that nostalgia to me. It's just kind of like. Everyone knows it. Everyone likes it. It's like... It's not interesting. Because it's so... Well known. If that makes sense. So yeah. Now we got that sorted out. Let's go ahead and get this sorted out as well. Can't believe I didn't already put a path there. But hey. You know what? Let's widen out this path up here too. Because I, I know it's cool to have path variability and all, but the largest paths are the best. Like, it's... And it looks weird when it's a tiny, large path going off of a tiny path. I could put a tiny path, but that's one of the largest enclosures, and those are the two different attractions that are to it. Should at least one of them have a large path. So, and the tour is going to be more likely to be used in the zip line. Just logically speaking, because more people could fit on it, and it's just, even though the zipline's cooler, it's not as good of a experience. So yeah, we're gonna have to decorate around these viewing galleries, to, and then we're not gonna really decorate in the middle of it, even though that's the more boring part. Uh, just so that way then we don't spend forever.
So now let's release our Mosasaurus. Oh, that's a big boy. Decent skin. It's fitting, though. It's very fitting. Like, it looks like... Very arid. Like, it's a, it's a red and a brown. Like, it looks kind of like some corals. That I've seen, like... It has, like, that crimson. Dusty crimson, almost. And then, just, uh... Just, like, a dust rest of the color. I'm so looking forward to the update where they have... Infinite feeders. Because this is annoying. Like, just simply annoying. There's no good way to put that besides the fact that it's annoying. And I don't really want to put in a ranger team. I have to put on gates to those enclosures. So, yeah. Which also doesn't really make sense how a ranger team replenishes a goat feeder. Considering that the vehicles aren't large enough for... To have multiple goats. Yeah, that doesn't really make sense. The carnivore feeder, yeah, that makes sense. Pet Piscivore feeder, yeah, still makes sense. The goat feeder, no sense whatsoever. And let's go ahead and just fill in these grassland shrubs on the past so that way it's not boring and like textureless across the ground. You know, it's samey since I'm doing it all over the place, but it doesn't at least look barren. And I don't really want to go through s decorating it all a super ton. After all, in some cases, less is more. And that's a really good advice for all your parks. Don't overdo it. Just don't. So yeah, we'll just sort that out so that the disc of the aquatic animals don't starve. And yeah, this is looking like it's going to be good into the park. By the way, I'm going to go through all the dinosaurs, looking at them and stuff, in the monthly update that's going to be coming out uh, t at the end of this month. For the future of the channel, of course. And yeah, by the way, thank you all for watching. Again, please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this park all the building experience, all the cool stuff that's happened here. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. And again, thank you all for watching.